In this video, I'll show you how to update your site and page meta info. Uh, this is the info that can show up when you search for your website on Google or when you share the URL to your website on a social platform like Twitter. So in the project, we want to head over to the top right and go to our project settings and then head over to the general tab. And this is where you can set the uh, meta info for your entire website. So as you can see here, I already have a title set. Um, and we can also set a description. Uh, next to that, we can also set the site language. This is the primary language of your website. So I'm going to select English. Um, below that, you can see a preview of what this will look like on something like Google. So we have our site title uh, and our site description. Below this, we have an accessibility toggle. So um, if a user has uh, reduced motion enabled on their um, on their OS. Um, having this enabled on your website will mean that if they uh, view your website and your website has any transitions or animations, uh, these will be disabled. Um, this is great for people who just prefer um, viewing a website with reduced motion. Uh, beneath this, you can unpublish your website. And below this, we have our site images. So our site images contain the fab icon. This is the icon that shows up in the browser tab when you're viewing your website. And below this, we have our social image for our entire website. Um, this image shows up when you share the URL to your website on a platform like Twitter. Um, so over here, we can set the uh, meta info for our entire website. So if we set it here, it will trickle down to all of the other pages on our website. But we can also override this per page. So let's say we head over to our updates page. Um, you'll see here that the, um, the title uh, shows the title that we've already filled in in our general tab. So this means it is taking the title from the entire website. Um, same goes for the description. Um, but let's say we want to override this. We can go Fusion Updates because this is our updates page. Um, and we can go View All of the Fusion updates and we hit save and now this specific page has a specific title and page description so if we find this page on google or we share the url to this page on something like twitter um, this is the info that will show up and not the general info of our website so we've only overridden this for this certain page so if we head over to our blog page you can see that it's still uh, taking the title and description of the entire site that we've set there's some extra info we can uh, we can adjust for pages. So we can make sure that a page shows up in a search engine or not. By default, this will be enabled. But let's say you don't want this page indexed by search engines like Google, you can disable this. Uh, and we can also decide if you want this page to show up in our own site search. So if you have search enabled on your website, um, we can decide whether this page is indexed by um, the search on our own website. So. Maybe you have a page that you don't want uh, searchable on your site. Um, this is how you disable it. Below this, again, we have the preview of the info that we've just set. And um, like the title and description, we can also override the page image. So if you remember correctly, we have set an image for our entire site. So this will be picked up by all of our pages unless we override it. So. On our updates page, um, I want to override it with a different image. So we can go to my assets and then click this one and upload a different image. And if we publish our website now, the uh, updates page will ha show a different social image if we share this page on something like Twitter. Um, so let's hit publish, then go to our browser and to check if all of the info is set correctly, we can go to the website metatags.io and I'll go back to Framer and open my website. Um, so here you can see that the fab icon is set, the tab is showing the correct title of the website. If we go to our update page, you can see that the different title shows up. Um, but let's say we want to sh check if all of the info is set correctly. We can copy the URL, go to metatags.io and paste the URL. And here we can check if all of the info is set correctly. So um, you can see that the title is being picked up, the description is picked up. 
you can see a preview of what this will look like when you share it on Twitter or on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Pinterest and on Slack. Um, sometimes it might happen that if you uh, have updated your title, description or image, um, Google or any other website is not parsing the info correctly. Um, this often means that Google has simply not updated the info yet or that, um, for example, Twitter has cached your, your website, so the info is not showing correctly there yet. If meta tags is showing the correct info, uh, it just means you have to wait a little bit longer for Google to re-index your website um, or for a, a platform like Twitter to pick up the new info. Yeah, and that's it. That is how you update your meta info on your website.